Hey guys, welcome to Fear and Wine. We're back with our Let's Play of Dead Space 2023. Um, whoever knows that will understand what I meant. Sounds like that's the game title. But, um, I guess I'll just say remake from now on. That makes it probably easier. But anyway, <clears throat> when we last left off, we, um, oh, what were we doing? Hmm. Oh yeah, we got to open up, uh, we have to, we're trying to create a bomb so we can, uh, destroy this fucking blockage right here. Uh, where is it? Right there. Yeah. So, we just gotta go through this area. The research wing. Which I'm sure will just be filled with good times and it'll be fun. Oops, and missed. Oh my god, I missed again. All right. There we go, thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah, impaling and throwing. We know about that from Dead Space 2. Oh, shit. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Oh my god, okay, stop. What was that? That's helpful. Are we done? It doesn't feel like we're done. Isn't the quarantine supposed to turn off once I... Oh, no, I think I have to go reset it. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay. Let's go this way. Fuck out of here. Get out of here. <sighs> Quarantine lifted. Awesome. Oh yeah, I forget I have the fucking pulse rifle. Which why by the way, I think it's I haven't I've thought about it a couple times. I love that it was done organically. Like, I just found the rifle on a soldier. That's fucking amazing. I hope uh, finding all the guns is like that. It makes it way more believable rather than just a store suddenly becoming stocked with a bunch of guns. Stasis pack schematics. Cool. Um, I think we might have a node. Can't really remember now. Nope. I was incorrect. Biological. 
magical prosthetics. Hold on. Oh, I know what that what's that way. I know exactly what that way is, and yeah, that's where we're supposed to be headed. All right, yeah, I want to check out this whole area first. Usually benefit from doing so. I got some credits. Oh, sweet. Yeah, the little fucking... All right, so now we know when those little... I was wondering what those were because I saw them all lit up. Audio log. Dr. Janice Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. It's remarkable to finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners, this transformation, the divide death self. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange. But my own faith Ugh, is so... Sorry, I'm making so many chest noises. With or without Kain. I must study one of these creatures, or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. Okay. Okay, um... Dr. Kine, okay. Sweet. Oh shit. Is that Matthias? Ben, what in God's name is happening down there? Yeah, Benjamin so Matthias. God's work. How can you say that? These deaths at the colony. The paranoia, the hallucinations. You wanted a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? That's awesome. It's like a. Oh, you record him without his knowledge. Nice. Or maybe it records everything. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. The vid logs from the colony, colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to Ben. The artifact appears to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board at the first opportunity so I can begin to proper study. I can't even imagine a potential of such a find. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefit of current analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer humanity to the Church of Unitology without EarthGov here to seize them first? This marker could, her could herald the dawn of a new age. And I will do my part uh, to see the age come to pass. May maybe this is fate. In the darkest time of my life, the church and its teachings comforted me, saved me, and now I'm here, in the right place at the right time, to be ser uh, to be of service to all humanity, to repay those blessings. Amelia, if only could be here now. Altman, be praised. Any oh. There's something behind here. How do I... Oh, can I move it? Yes, I can. Sweet. No. My psychotic writings. Like, I understand a lot of things that people could find to be religious, but watching people r limbs rip apart and transform into monsters it's like come on really y'all think this is like god doing this come on i did go in here didn't i no i didn't 
Oh. Oh shit, she's gone. Oh, audio log. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvement. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Marsha continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Tracking rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Investigate emergency room. Oh, how do I... Wait, what? Okay, I can't reach in until I destroy the barricade. Okay. Text log. Uh, Dr. Brennan. Ugh, excuse me. Dr. Brennan. Okay, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Jane Doe, thanks. It's just so hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked to me you again. He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. How every unitologist leaves is an enemy to the humanity. An enemy of humanity. Unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They are neuro neuropsych uh, they are neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll try to Dr. Brennan? Sorry, I did something happen. I had a patient who I tried and her son tried so hard, but she I will fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. I never realized that her office was down here. I don't know. Was this an original game? I can't even remember. Anywho, alright, let's, uh. Wait, no, it wasn't this way. It was. This way. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game. Prosthetics. Oh, right. Jesus. Oh, a new enemy has entered the game. Level three. Where? Oh shit. Okay. Whoa. God, you fucking bastard. Are these babies alive in there? Might just be the water kicking them around. I don't know. They look like they're moving, right? I don't like those baby crying noises. That really upsets me. Anyway. All right. Clerical error. Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has, removed, has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess one. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it. Trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippo uh, Hippocrates. Hippocrates. <laughs> Hippocrates. <laughs> 
shit rolls downhill, Zoe. I don't know what that name was. I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I should know what that name is, but I, uh, I didn't. Oh my god! Oh, crap. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh. Little fucker. Ooh. Got you both. I mean, not before y'all got me first, but... I'll get faster at it. I thought I could just pull it off, but apparently you have to break it first. And I didn't know that. Limb simulation. Oh. Oh, fuck, he got cooked. Did I do that? Shock pad. Okay. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I could use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. Not losing anyone else. Okay. So that's done with. Alright, let's go. Nope. Yeah, even slow it'll crush me, so gotta be careful. Oh god, come on. Okay. Use it. Oh my god, I kept pressing square. I don't know why. I haven't played Xbox in forever. But for some reason, I just kept pressing square on that one. Alright. Sweet. We're in. Oh, shit. Oh, me. Fuck. Bring it to the bench and it'll prove it. Okay, cool. Security clearance required. God damn it. Oof, I got, I got gutted. No, it looks like a recording of Brennan, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
That's really cool how they're adding that kind of stuff in. Oh, these are stasis, like, throw them at them and it'll give them automatic stasis. Alright. Uh, Harris is asleep. Um, another do After another dose of sedative, he seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances, not Harris. His bizarre, his bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere at Planetside. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Scarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse, in fact. He in, in fact, he insists that there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is a classic sociopathic behavior. But Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. Uh, he claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes uh, intermittent hallucinatory uh, periods, again, similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long wa waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface claiming the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again what that means i haven't determined yet given the complexities of this case i plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight okay i'm wondering when we're going to start getting this level one access and shit because I don't, there's not really a whole lot we could do with that Oh my god, I walked right into that. Oh my god. Okay. The little fucking babies around here somewhere. Oh. I need to remember to use the uh, the pulse rifle. All right, this is where she went.
find an autopsy location in engineering. Okay. It's cool, there's like this little side mission going on with her. It's pretty tight. What's up with this door? Oh, that's why. That's why I want me to pull out the battery. See that hole down there? I'm not fucking stupid. Is it gonna come out now or? Where you going, baby? Uh oh. <laughs> Was it walking me into an attack? Couldn't see where he was. I was like, I know he landed over here somewhere. Okay. This game is so dark. Okay, it's this way. Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you all locked me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. What's she talking about? Oh shit! You asshole! Oh god! Shit! Oh yeah, I need to use an alternate fire. I still don't even know what it really does. Okay. Mercer, it's Karen Skyfield. You were in surgery, so I left with the door. They'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Agent 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Okay, oh. Oh god. Wow. That was That was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well that's going to be the end of part 3 of our Let's Play of De the Dead Space remake. We'll just call it that. Uh, we'll be back with part 4 very soon. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Till next time, peace.